Hello fellow human, welcome back to another dank doggo r slash choosing beggars. So our story for today is from you slash Tess Marine, with the title of CB roommate thinks money I got from family count towards what she owes me. Okay, hi all. I would like to start off by saying this happened a few years ago and taught me to never move in with my best friend. TLDR at the bottom. On to the story. Roommate 21 years old female and I 20 years old female got a place together. I was having trouble with my family and so was she but she explained to me she was getting kicked out. I had known her for 6 years at this point and she had not so great family life so when she told me her father was expecting too much of her and kicking her out for not meeting expectations, I believed her. And this was nothing outside the norm but that will come up later. I did all the research and found a perfect first place for two young adults. The rent was one-fourth of our monthly incomes within 10 minutes of both of our works near three grocery stores, near our banks, near the post office, and a good neighborhood overall. I pulled a miracle out of my butt to find this place. To put it bluntly, except insert sudden tale of woo as to how she lost her money for her half due to some schooling issues and a parking ticket, leaving me pretty high and dry based on how short the notice was. So what did I do? I ponied up the money and paid the first month rent deposit and took care of the filling the apartment with food and cleaning supplies. We had said it immediately that she would pay me an agreed upon amount each month to settle the sizable debts also my naive self would later find things wouldn't work so prettily. Anyhow, after that, I had less than $50 to my name to last me about a month as I had just started a new job and my pay wouldn't be coming for a minute. Cue my mother and stepdad having a heartfelt conversation with me and gifting me $400 as a housewarming gift for me to get set up. The conversation meant a lot for me and left a big impression on me. Lots of tears were shared. I was so happy with the whole situation, I told my roommate the story. Stupid, I know and she zeroed in on the money I was gifted. Roommate, so she just gave you $400 for no reason? Me, not really, she gave it to me for apartment stuff and because I have no money right now. Roommate, yeah, but that's for the apartment, right? Our apartment? I start to see where she's going with this immediately and I don't like it. Roommate, can the $400 count toward what I owe you? Since you got the money for no reason, we can make it for what I owe. I was pretty appalled that she would even have the nerve to ask this. It was like a scene out of the X-Files to me. My awesome friend had been replaced with some money-hungry cryptid. I tried to remain civil, however, as I knew the stress over money affects people differently. Me. I don't think so. My mom gave it to me because she was proud of me, not to pay your debt. It's mine, and why would you even ask that? She began sulking, avoiding eye contact, and mumbling her annoyance. These would be her norms when she didn't get it her way over the next years. I really wish I would have gotten out of there sooner rather than later. Roommate, I just thought maybe that could work out since she just gave it to you for no reason. It would really help me out. It was beginning to annoy me that she kept bringing it up. I thought I was gifted the money by instead saying there was no reason for my mom to have given for me. Me, you owe me because I already helped you out. The next year living with her was a nightmare. She always had excuses as why she couldn't pay for this or that, yet she always had money for concerts and parties. She never cleaned, ever. She would leave piles of tissues in every room of the floor, would use my cups and leave half a full glass of mills in her room to rot, just to name a few activities. I also found out that her slovenly nature was the real reason she was kicked out of her father's house in the first place. Both of her parents over the years we lived together would separately apologize to me out of embarrassment for their daughter's lack of cleanliness and her attitude. 
To her credit though, she did eventually pay me back after about 3 years, immediately following which we cut contact since the relationship had long since passed. TLDR, CB roommate sticks me with the first month friend and deposit. My mother gives me a monetary gift to celebrate my first place and CB immediately tries to claim the money toward paying what she owes me. Oh my god, not only that the choosing beggar in the story didn't appreciate that OP was willing to put herself out there with $50 left in her pocket just to save the day by paying all the rent by herself, she also wanted OP's money which was given by OP's mother. Oh gosh, like how shameless a person could be. OP did make a good point though about how money makes people act very differently and her friend had quickly became a money hungry trash. I mean sure if you're so shameless there's no harm in asking right? If OP said yes then great for her, if not then oopsie so embarrassing. But nope, the CB truly believed that the money was also entitled to her because she lived in the same apartment? And then she got all annoyed and angry because OP refused? Like what the hell? It didn't even stop there. The funny thing was that CB still had money for parties and concerts and all other fun activities. I mean, one shot, just one shot at the bar can cost like 5 to 10 dollars depending on where you live. It is extremely expensive to live that kind of life. And as for the final nail in the coffin, it took her 3 freaking years to pay OP back. 3 years! What I learned today is that when you listen to a story, be sure to listen to both sides of it. Because now you really understand why CB's parents kicked her out in the first place. And now for the comments. We have the first comment by u slash Coraline1599. Wow, this reminds me of the time I dodged a bullet. A person I knew for a few years, acquaintances, not full friends, we were in the same city and had the same budget. We met up for dinner to plan our apartment hunt. In this meeting, she ordered a lot of extra food that she didn't take home. We stopped by a few stores and I watched her spend $400 in one store and $200 in another. What she needed for me was to cover the entire security and first month deposit. And she was trying to convince me it would be a great investment because I would get that entire deposit back and that would be a nice chunk of change. In the meantime, she paid me like $100 every two weeks to catch up on that first month's rent. She wouldn't have either. I didn't have a backup plan, so I moved with my mom and commuted three hours a day. She made fun of me for choosing to live with my mom. But she already set her sight on a coworker who had a few hundred thousand saved for a down payment on a brownstone. She felt that once he fell in love with her, he would have to pay her like 150,000 of student loans because that would be more important than his down payment. He narrowly escaped it as well. I lost track of her. He narrowly escaped as well. I lost track of her. I think it is for the best. Wow, like money really does change people. And that is a gold digger. User Pomery replied, Never lend friends money. Never loan money you can't afford as as gift. You went zero for two, lol. And we have the final comment from you slash magic mees. Instead of roommate, you should use free loader. <laughs> you got that right. That's it for today, fellow humans. Thanks for watching. Dank Doggo appreciates your time. If you enjoy our content and want to see more of us, stay tuned and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button or a doggo will cry. Also, you can always tell us your doggo comrades your experiences in the comment section. I will catch up with you guys later in the next video.